Hey you guys, this is gonna be another commentary video. Um, it's a, it's a ghost video as you can see, and it's on the map Stonehaven. Uh, I'm using the K7 with extended mags and uh, uh, grip, and I have like oh, uh, I, I tried ma making this commentary already, but like I completely forgot what I was gonna say. And uh, my perks are uh, agility, ready up, uh, reflex. I think. I have oh no I'm gonna have I'm gonna have marathon on when I unlock it. I have uh, the extra lethal so I can have two throwing knives, and then I do have one other perk but I can't remember. Oh, it's takedown so that like they don't know where I kill the enemies at. But uh, like I was gonna s I was talking about it in the last commentary, then I fucked it up because I didn't know what I was gonna say. My second time recording this, uh, my commentary was gonna be about like how to play Call of Duty. And I don't mean like I don't mean like I'm gonna give you a tutorial how to play it. I mean like playing Call of Duty correctly is playing Call of Duty how you want to play it. How you have fun playing the game is how you should play it. And I know a lot of my friends are gonna call me hypocrite or call me a hypocrite because uh, I know Boom for I know Boom for a fact. I've yelled at him before for like camping in Call of Duty. Like not like yelled at him like oh my god Boom you're a fucking faggot stop doing that like. I, I probably have done that at some point, I don't know. But, uh, like, I would constantly hound people, like, oh, you're camping too much, you should probably run around more. But, like, I realized that, like, it really does sound, like, stupid that, like, if I yell at people, uh, for that. Because, like, I'll, I'll camp every once in a while, so it really looks like I'm a hypocrite, but, like, I don't camp, like, hardcore for, like, an entire game. Like, I'll camp in, like, a corner for, maybe, like, a minute or so, and then I'll just run around. But, uh, like, how I'm playing this game right now is I'm playing, I'm not trying, tryharding at all. Like, I'm, of course, I'm trying to get kills, but to me, I'm playing like a noob. Uh, like, my secondary is a grenade launcher just to piss people off. Like, I'm literally playing this game just so I can run around and piss people off. Because, uh, like, I go, f as you can see, I have the two throwing knives. I actually tried pointing at my screen, but of course, you guys can't see me. Uh, I have the two throwing knives right here. I get two kills with them. And, uh, that's mainly for, like, the cross maps, so I can, you know, because, like, in this game, the, the search spawns are so fucked up that it's almost impossible to get, uh, a fucking spawn throwing knife, because the spawns are so fucking weird. And, uh, I might, like, just start making my montages. I might get an occasional cross map montage out there, but I might just make throwing, throwing knife montages for this video, and my cross map montages might continue with my Black Ops 2 videos. If I still play that, I don't know. I'm gonna be posting a lot of GTA 5 videos, uh, when, like, everyone gets around and gets the game, because I think right now, only, like, me, Cal, Cole, Baseball, uh, Perlock, uh, Alpha, and, like, a couple other people have that have that game, but I'm sure once or once we can actually get around and get oh and Brandon Rock I know he has it too. I know uh, if I forgot anybody I'm sorry but I can't really think off the top of my head right now. But I'm sure once we get a lot of people to have that game like I know Boom said he's gonna get it for Christmas and uh, I don't remember who else said they were gonna get it but I'm sure a lot of people are gonna get it soon. And it'll be it'll be a, a lot more fun with uh, more people, and I'll get a lot better content since there's more people, and the races will probably be more extreme, probably more annoying, annoying because we're gonna have to explain to everybody that we we like to race cleanly unless we're dicking around. But uh, uh what else is there? Uh, there's gonna be GTA 5 comp content. Even like I'm still gonna post a lot before Christmas because me and cool, me and cool. Oh, actually, get a lot of content, and if like me and Alpha or me and Cal Friendly or me and Brandon uh, start playing, like one day I'll get a lot of content if we play for like an hour or so. And um, uh, I forget what my other topic. Oh yeah, my other topic was I was gonna make a vlog a while back and uh, like tell you guys why I haven't uploaded for like three or four weeks. I don't remember how long ago this was. But I hadn't uploaded in like a month or so, and I was assuming the guys who actually watched my video was probably wondering why uh, I wasn't uploading. And it was mainly because of uh, like personal and family issues. Uh, nothing, like nothing was wrong. Like my family and everyone's okay. But uh, it was mainly like I was, I was just focused on like my brother is gonna be having a kid soon, and I was focused on that. And. Uh, 
Um, I actually, to, like, I actually I found destroyed. someone that I really like, and we're actually dating now. Uh, her name is Stacy. And, well, yeah, we started dating. Uh, we actually started talking over YouTube. Because, uh, like, she goes to my school, but then, like, she posted on Facebook, like, one of her YouTube videos. Because she makes, uh, vlogs about, like, <clears throat> she makes vlogs about, like, uh, people who get bullied and everything. Like, she tries to help them out. And she's helped out a lot of kids at our school just by making these videos. Because, like, she's, like, she's basically, like, an inspiration. Because she's told me about her past and everything, and it's not a pretty past. And, like, it really made me feel bad for her that, like, someone actually had to go through something like that. And so, like, I commented on the video, because the first one was, like, it was, like, an introductory vlog. And it was basically her, like, talking about, like, what she was going to do and who the type of people she wanted to help. And I just commented on it saying, like, oh, oh she did a good job and everything. And then, uh, uh, she messaged me back on YouTube. And, um, she messaged me back, and, uh, we start, we just started talking, and she's like, oh, I'm, oh, she's like, oh, I'm glad you commented on my video, and so supportive, or whatever, and then she, and then she asked me, like, if she knew me, I'm like, oh, yeah, because at, at my school, I'm not exactly the most popular kid around, I'm just kind of the person that, like, hangs out with his own friends, and just kind of blanks in, and, uh, she's like, oh, yeah, I know you, you're one of, uh, Sam's friends. And I'm like, oh yeah, and then uh, we actually like started talking more and more, and like she, I could tell that she was like starting to like me, and I knew I already liked her, and so like we like gave each other our numbers and started texting on there, and then she came at, she came over to hang out one day, and I asked her out and asked her to homecoming, she said yes to both, and been dating since uh, October 16th. 2013, so, yeah, well, yeah, well, this year, but we've been dating since October 16th, and I can actually say that, like, for the first time in a while, uh, like, someone has actually made me happy, because, uh, like, ever since we started dating, everything that's happened in my life that I've Set taken, like, a positive enabled. aspect on, and usually I'm just so negative, I like hate everything that's around me, and everything just pisses me off. But ever since like she came into my life, I've just taken everything more positive. I've had a positive outlook on everything is what I'm trying to say. Like, and fuck you, Bubs, you're an asshole. And, uh, it's... It's kind of like mind blowing that like I was so like I wouldn't say I was depressed but I was so unhappy for so long and then just out of nowhere someone that like you didn't even expect like I didn't even expect to ever talk to this girl uh like my whole high school like career I guess and then just out of nowhere she just makes a vlog on YouTube and since I was already on YouTube I figured oh, I might as well give her some feedback and see what happens and then we just started dating and like all this been oh, okay. it all happened so fast but i can't express how happy i am that it actually happened because she took me out of a dark place like yes i still have you know thoughts in my mind of like oh my god i just want to fucking murder somebody because this happened like yes i still have you know like the dark thoughts in my mind but she's able to suppress them a lot and she actually, I'm gonna ask her if she actually wants to post videos on this channel because her Vimeo account, like, like she can't get into it anymore. So, just comment down below if you guys would like to see some of her videos. And, uh, I guess I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.